Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial in Revit architecture. I am architect Sonu Rai from Glide Studio and in this today video tutorial, I am going to teach you how to import an SketchUp 3D model from a SketchUp warehouse to your Revit project. So let's begin. I am going to my uh, SketchUp folder uh, project here and uh, this is our viewport in SketchUp and now I am going to click this uh, window here and now I will go to this 3D warehouse I will select this 3D warehouse and now I will uh, uh, search for TV unit and I will uh, download this model in a SketchUp so, uh, I will uh, download this model, modern TV unit. So I am going to download this. And now it is asking load this directly into your SketchUp model. Yes or no. So you can save it also. <clears throat> so I am going to directly load into my SketchUp model. Yes. So now we have uh, downloaded this model and now I will explode this. I'm going to right click and explode this and I will delete these boxes. These are not required. So this is our uh, model and I am going to delete this also. So this is model and now after this you are required to save this SketchUp model to your folder and you will save it as SketchUp version 8. So I will tell you because version 8 is most uh, comfortable with Revit import. So I am going to use this only. So you can see there are various versions, SketchUp version 2020-19-18. So you will select SketchUp version 8. And I will save this. I will check here. So I have saved it to my download folder. And I will rename this as TV unit for Revit and i will use this sketchup version 8 now i'm i'm going to my revit project here this is small residence so i'm going to uh, bring that tv model right here just to view it and i will go to insert and now i will go to import cat and in import CAD you will select files of type so instead of drawing files you will select SketchUp files and now you will go to your download folder here and this is the model which we have saved just now TV unit for Revit.SketchUp so I am going to select this and the file name will, will be same files type is SketchUp and I am going to leave this setting positioning is auto origin to internal origin place at ground level and layers I want all layers and import units I will use this auto detect so I'm going to click open mm -hmm. and now we'll see the original model contains unsupported geometric data such as curves or points so it gives warnings no issue so I am going and this is the, our model of a SketchUp and now I am going to click this and you are required to unpin it to move it in Revit. So I am going to click once and it is unpinned here. So now we can drag this to our wall. So I am going to rotate this and I will rotate this to 90 degree. And again 
I will use 180 here. So now we have placed it here and now I will uh, select camera to view our model here. So I am going to my default 3D view and you will select this drop down here camera. So I am going to place a camera here. I am going to click here and now I will see our model. So this is the model and I am going to enlarge this camera view. So now I will go to my realistic mode and see whether texture and material is also imported in Revit or not. So I am going to my realistic mode here. So now you can see uh, texture and material are imported in Revit. So we can remove this sofa here. And so we can see that this is the SketchUp model from SketchUp Warehouse and we have imported in Revit. So you have to save it as version 8 in uh, SketchUp uh, version 8. You will save your 3D model and then you can go to your Revit and go to this import CAD and you can choose your file type as a SketchUp file here and then you can bring your SketchUp models in Revit and you can work on your project efficiently with SketchUp and Revit both. So this was the tutorial for today's session. In the next session, I will come with some more interesting topics in Revit. So thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe my channel. Thanks.